Well, from 1966 to 2004, Carol Shelby's legacy lives on in the last vehicle that they worked on here. That's the 2004 Shelby Cobra concept. KION's Medley Wayne Tall joins us now with a look at the Shelby car that was made popular not just by car enthusiasts, but also by a film here for versus Ferrari. I'm sure you've seen Christian Bale and Matt Damon in Ford versus Ferrari. Similar to the one featured in the movie, this number 98 1966 semi-competition Cobra was designed by former racer Carroll Shelby before he signed with Ford to make the GT40 race car to win Le Mans, the world's oldest sports car endurance race. The car came with a 43-gallon fuel tank, 600 horsepower, and magnesium rear wheels, but it could easily catch on fire on the racetrack. It made it really dangerous to drive, and he was almost afraid of it. He raced it nine times, so this car only has 3,000 miles. It's probably the lowest mileage streetcar of its kind uh, left in existence. If Sher Carol Shelby hadn't signed with Ford, this would have been what I think is the true Lamar car and would have been worth a lot more money. Now imagine you can own the last Shelby Cobra. This is the muscle car that never made it to the streets. The 2004 Shelby Cobra concept. I wanted the car to be driven and shown and uh, taken care of because it's one of one. It's a piece of history. Chris Theodore oversaw the design and worked closely with Shelby for many years at Ford. The car was decommissioned, but four years ago, Theodore bought it at a charity auction and started working on it again. Probably the greatest project I worked on in my life. We worked on the Ford GT, I worked on design uh, of many, many cars, both at Chrysler and, and Ford, but working with Carroll Shelby was the highlight for me of my career. The streetcar was intended for production, but it never made it to the assembly line. Now, the concept is starting at $1.5 million at the Meekum auction on Saturday.